thanks for stopping by. This is the Necktime channel and in this video I'd like to show you how you can use these machine screws and threaded inserts that we sell on a regular Ibanez guitar. So not, not the Fender guitar, Fender style guitar like you would uh, expect this to, to work with but also on a, on a Ibanez guitar which is a bit different. Uh, check out the video, maybe you learn something. Um, enjoy! See you later! Bye bye! Here you can see my beautiful Ibanez Geo GSA60. So this is one of the cheaper ones and they have a bolt on neck obviously and let's remove the screws and see what we have here okay we have these little rings and we have two different screws so they are of different length actually so this is the, f uh, the case for I think all of the Ibanez bolt on guitars but uh, you're covered so we have these uh, bolts here which match exactly the length of the Ibanez screws. So you can use this as a replacement. So here you can see this ugly hole here and the bolts don't fit into this hole so we have to widen this a little bit. So we, we come to this later. So here we can see the, the heads of the screws. Can you tell which is which? So the upper one is the original screw. Let's remove the strings quickly. This allows us to loosen the, the screws for the, the, the other screws of the neck. So we can remove this. If this is good enough. So let's remove the other two screws. Alright, ready to go. We can remove the neck now. Let's leave the strings in place. I mean, you can of course uh, change the strings if you like. So, can you see this? This uh, chips here and this dirt coming in out of these holes. So this is the original quality of the, the drilling holes that, that we found here for, for this Ibanez Geo guitar. This is not very good, so let's clean up this mess a bit. I use a, a wire brush uh, for this. Here you can see more chips, you know, from off, from the neck side. This is a close up of the, the drilling holes. Not very good. So this is actually the, the bit I use. It's a countersink bit to make a bigger hole, or better to say, like a countersunk. So the the eight mil uh, drill that we're going to use is finding the center of the original holes in a in a perfect manner. So just a millimeter in. And then we have this beautiful, yeah. So this is the preparation for the actual drilling. So now let's let's drill into the, the neck. I know this is a painful procedure for some of you. It's it's a one shot only, so you have to you get it right. But it, it's not really hard. I mean, the, if you use like a drill bit like this one, it's actually for steel. It will make a perfect hole. I have a, a stopper for like like 10 millimeters to go to in. I mean, you can measure yourself how deep you want to go in the wood. And let's use the countersink again. This is really important now. This is to prevent chipping when we put in the inserts. So this will reset the inserts a little bit. So there is uh, more material at the surface for, for the drill to cut into. So it will go in a bit deeper and prevent uh, breaking and chipping when we put it in. So now is the moment. I'm using a standard hex wrench here. This is probably not the best idea. 
you should use uh, a T style hack wrench where you have more control and uh, pressure from, from the top. I will show you in another video how that works. So this is a bit uh, uh, tedious procedure here, but it needs to be tight. You know, we want to sit, have the screws sit really tight. I make a little test here if the angles is right. So it should be perfectly perpendicular from all sides, of course. And yeah, I need to correct this a bit, but no worries, it would uh, come out fine. So let's finish that. A little bit fast forward. And the other ones. Just take your time. Don't put pressure on it from the top. They should cut into the wood like you, like a cork screwdriver would do. Uh, when you open an expensive bottle of uh, French red wine, maybe just uh, take your time and make it, make it, it will find its way into the wood without applying pressure. All right. So. Now, we, like I said before, we need to widen the, the holes and the body a bit, so these uh, machine bolts can go through the body easily. They should not uh, get stuck or, or be blocked by the, the old threads from, from the other screws. So just take a 5mm drill and widen these holes. You can even use a bigger drill, that makes it easier if you uh, have problems to to find the perfect center of the of the inserts later. So now is the time for mounting the neck to the body, and I go one by one, and I do it you know freehand like you can see here, because. Um, you might have missed, you know, the hole by a, 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 a fraction of a millimeter or something. So you need some uh, wiggle room here to control uh, the screws, how they go in. And you have to feel that. So if you just put your guitar flat, you might, and you use your screwdriver, you might apply, uh, apply too much power and then damage the threads. You don't want that. Steel on steel can uh, create enormous powers and then uh, damage the, the inserts, the threads in the inserts. Don't do that. So take your time. They could, should go easy and they should go easy one by one. You know, if one gets stuck, just take the guitar and shake your neck a bit and you can feel, okay, there was something blocking, there's a certain angle and at the, at the end they will all find their way in. And this is the, the perfect match now. So now we can tighten the screws, like across, like X, Y's. But uh, yeah, don't over tighten. Just um, the the right amount that you can apply with your hand. Don't use power tools here. You just have to feel okay. This is the right amount, and it sits tight, and it won't uh, loosen itself. You can feel that. With your with your hands best. Okay, all done. Beautiful new black screws, and now the uh, Ibanez Geo guitar. They look even better than the old ones. Hey, you're still here. That's great. So I hope you enjoyed that video. It was fun to make. You can tell. I mean, I'm not a professional video guy but uh, we're, we're getting there i need a better camera maybe sometime and yeah give me a thumbs up if you liked it and if you have any question if you you know want to discuss a project or anything just reach out to me i you will find me on my shop necktide.de or just send me an email or you know start chatting with me on facebook whatever you you want to do and yeah see you next time thanks for watching bye bye Thank <laughs> you.